The International Workingmen's Association was founded in London, England in 1864. It was created to coordinate worker struggles across the world, though mainly in Europe, and make demands on the ruling class, such as the eight-hour workday. But right from the first Congress, the International was divided into factions, based around anarchists Pierre Joseph Proudhon and Mikhail Bakunin, and around Karl Marx. Louis Napoleon was ruling France at the time since he came to power in his own version of his uncle's coup of 18th Brumaire. And just like his uncle, Louis Napoleon got himself into wars which eventually ended in his defeat. Only this time, towards the end of the Franco-Prussian War, the workers of Paris took advantage of the lack of central authority and started the Paris Commune. Which lasted all of a couple months. But this was a huge deal for the First International, since it was the first practical application of what Marx called the dictatorship of the proletariat. But it also deepened the divide between the anarchists and the Marxists. Marx cited the defeat of the commune as proof that the working class needs to organize itself in a party and seize political power in order to defeat the bourgeoisie. The anarchists rejected this, stating that their task was to decentralize power. After a majority voted in favor of Marx's idea at the next Congress, they then voted to expel Bakunin, who was secretly organizing his own international. And so, Marxists and anarchists split, leading the newly crowned German Kaiser Otto von Bismarck to exclaim, Crowned heads, wealth, and privilege may well tremble, should ever again the black and red unite. Love that.